Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, hello, hello. So, anyway, um, I like Star Wars. Um, I'm more of a Trekkie myself, but <clears throat> I do like both uh, series of films. Um, however, I have reasons why I like Star Trek more than Star Wars. I like Star Wars, but I love Star Trek. Key reason is Star Trek is science fiction, while Star Wars is science fantasy. And the key difference is that stuff that you've seen in the old Star Trek series, the old Star Trek films with the old series cast, and the new films, like in the 90s, or early 2000s with the Next Generation cast, we have that technology today. Yeah. What we call FaceTime, that's what they had on those little flip phones they had in the original series. Yeah, we have that today. and It's called the iPhone, but we still have. We're getting the technologies that we're seeing in the Star Trek show. So Star Trek, like all science fiction things, starts off as fiction, then becomes reality, while science fantasy... I hate to burst your bubble to the diehard Star Wars fans out there, but will forever be science fantasy. There will never be lightsabers. Cops will always use nightsticks and 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 guns or tasers. Uh, they'll never take out a lightsaber to to take down a criminal who's selling heroin down the street. It's science fantasy, folks. That's all it is. And and look. Um, what makes Star Wars watchable is that the fact that it's rooted in mythology, religious and non-religious mythology. That makes it watchable. Um, but if uh, George Lucas didn't base Star Wars based on religious and non-religious mythology, um, I don't think a lot of people would know what it is. Because people would just shrug it off as another child's film. But anyway. So. I've seen a clip from The Force Awakens. Where, you know, Han Solo's death scene. Oh, spoiler for anybody who hasn't, you know, seen A New Hope yet. But, um... But, yeah, it was basically Obi-Wan Kenobi's death scene, but with Han Solo. Um, when, what, what scratches my head is, there were tons of elements from Star Wars Episode Four, A New Hope, and that was one of them. And people are like, Oh my god, Han Solo gets killed? I didn't see that coming. I call bullshit, and I think you're an idiot if you didn't see that coming. Because it's basically, like I said, Obi-Wan Kenobi's death scene, only with Han Solo. But, yeah. And I commented on the clip, someone says, It's Han freaking Solo! And I... And, and I I had to reply to this person. I had to reply back and I said, I like Star Wars. I'm more of a Trekkie myself. However, I didn't cry when we uh, people thought Kirk was killed in Star Trek um, Into Darkness. I didn't cry during that scene. Neither did most, you know, Trek fans who went to see the film. Um, it just makes me laugh that the scenes where you're supposed to be emotionally touched, we Trekkie fans never feel anything, but Star Wars fans, like, feel all the emotions in the world. I just find that's, like, a weird backwards thing. But, um, yeah. And, and, I, I'm not kidding. Google Han Solo death scenes reaction. You'll see grown men and grown women who are in their 40s, their 30s, and their 20s, some in their 50s, bawling their eyes out that Harrison Ford's character gets axed 
in Star Wars The Force Awakens, and I can't help but laugh. First of all, Han Solo is not a real person. He's a character. Let's get this straightened out. The other thing is that Harrison Ford is the real person playing this character. And number three, Harrison Ford wanted to be axed from this movie series since Return of the Jedi. Yeah, he did not want to be associated with the movie Star Wars or the trilogy at that. He did not want to be associated with it. Indiana Jones, on the other hand, that's a different story. But Star Wars, he did not want to be associated with that after the first film. He wanted to be killed off in the second one, Return of the Jedi. Or Empire Strikes Back, whichever one was the next one. But he wanted to be axed off for over 30 years. So um, he finally got the chance to be axed off. And you know what? He had to give the reaction to the crowd as says, oh, if this is a bummer. But inside he's like, fucking finally. Now I'm out of the films forever. Finally. But yeah, uh, Alec Guinness and um, Harrison Ford, you know, they had to be convinced by George Lucas to be in the movie. That just shows how enthused they were when they heard the idea originally. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my uh, commentary on, on uh, Star Wars and Star Trek. See ya.